Okay, we're on passage now from Rurutu to Tahiti. What do you think? How, how does this compare to uh, <laughs> the last couple of days before, you know, or even the last two weeks before <laughs> arriving in Rurutu? So someone told me that this is sailing. <laughs> <laughs> After 4,000 miles, uh, I am starting to enjoy the sailing like, properly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at my fishing lanes and just waiting for the sunset. Drinking beer. I am on watch, but uh, I'm not panicking at all at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Bananas are hanging everywhere. What about you, Gord? Yeah, completely stressed over this uh, lack of waves we're having at the moment. <laughs> it feels great having to just sit here and do nothing, relax, enjoy. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Uh, <laughs> Fourth week of sailing, and this is the second sunset. <laughs> this is a much the traffic. <laughs> deck is pretty pretty dry. Very dry. That first dry sailing day. Oh, yeah. Shorts. Shorts, <laughs> t-shirts, <laughs> no foul weather gear. Yeah. <laughs> Super nice. Comfortable, dry. <laughs> Humidity in the cabins back down to around 60%. Everything's finally dried out. As the dawn breaks, we are making our way up through the passage between Moray and Tahiti, searching for the passage through the reef to make landfall in Tahiti. You can see the island of Moray in the background. We made our way through the reef and headed for Marina Taina in Papiete, a very nice marina for yachts. Well, we have made it to Tahiti. This is our most eastern port of call. There's a real sense of achievement now, having sailed up to 4,000 miles on two of the most renowned passages in the world. Crossing the Tasman and transit, 
transiting the roaring 40s east of New Zealand. What a sense of achievement. What a beautiful place to be. on a Friday, the super yachts have a party and the theme is Australia Day. So Gordon, who joined in New Zealand, has now flown back to Brisbane. And Juan, who has been with me since Brisbane, has left to do some exploring on his own and will rejoin in Rarotonga. Two guesses who owns this boat. And no, Beyonce was not here. The crews of these super yachts typically only see their owners for two to four weeks every six months or so. They spend the rest of the time washing, polishing, and moving the boats from one beautiful spot of the world to another. All in all, a fantastic finish to leg two.